Hello, hello, hello. Good evening, everyone. Good evening, Pastor. Good evening. Hey, Pastor. I see you. You had an accident with the uh, with the uh, scissors. Your head. Uh, you. <laughs> Uh, it looks good. It looks different, doesn't it? It is your style. Yeah. Oh, you did that. Mm. Oh, great. <laughs> yeah. it looks good. Yeah. Mm. Makes you look like ten years younger. Thank God. Yeah. My boy is doing high AIT chest. So don't do AIT. <laughs> Pardon? Everybody is doing AIT chest now. Yeah, he's using an artificial intelligence. Oh, okay. To change yeah. Their pieces. yeah. I'm going to. Yeah. Amen. So, Hallelujah. Um, yes, last Let's week you mm -hmm. had an eventual uh, Bible study class. Can you share to your? Can you share the right video to your? Yeah, let me just see. Just watch that or mm. just share, can you share? Just share. Share to what the page to your There's no sound here. Oh, it's okay. Oh, I just yes, stopped. Please, it. just in English. Yeah. Yeah, please, the whole thing. Hello, hello, hello. Hello, yes. To this worship, in your presence, that's where I am strong. In your presence, oh Lord, my God, in your presence. That's where I belong, seeking your face, touching your hands, in the cleft of the world, in your presence, O oh God, I want to go. Where the rivers cannot overflow. Amen. We want to be in His presence. We want His presence to overshadow the Spirit. We want to speak in his presence, ask questions in his presence, see in his presence. 
Amen. Amen. See his word in his presence. Do 
Spirit of wisdom and revelation, help us to know you more as we ask questions and understand your word. Open the eyes of the understanding of those who are also joining us, who have joined us. Help us to understand your word. Thank you, Holy Spirit, our best teacher. Oh Lord, we thank you for your presence. We thank you for the presence of your children. Be thou exalted. So I just want There's to There's nothing more powerful than you making your thing happen. Really going for it. So what I wanted to summarize from what we heard last Sunday mm -hmm. was when um person emphasized on while men slept. So it's true that it has the physical meaning of while well, men slept because people used to say that you shouldn't sleep, that you should pray at night from one to but which is important as well. But the the revelation about that scripture is that it is not only sleeping physically, but you, you can be you can be doing something that God does not want you to do. You can be in a gross darkness and then you don't sleep at night, you pray. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> what, what where would that where does it go? It's like you're putting water in a bottle that is open. Because the water will just, just come out. out. Yeah. So uh, I love that that uh, revelation of sleeping is basically when you allow your um, out your portals, I would say your inner man, mm -hmm. to be open to what is not of God, to the world. So you are opening up. So at that time, your inner man is not praying. You're, you are not connected to God. You are not bringing his presence. So your spirit man is sleeping, basically. So um, we shouldn't just emphasize only on that while men slept, they used to put like, oh, it's when you are sleeping that they come and give you food at night. Yes, true, but it is not the only. So this is the the 
literal meaning mm -hmm. while men slept. So in every scripture there is what you read and then behind it there's logos, there's a, the revelation of what sure. it is. The Rema. So the Rema is actually you are sleeping anytime you allow your inner man to be open to pour past the armor of God. Okay. So if your your inner man is connected to because even thoughts come to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm going to use myself. I, I shouldn't say all of us. So mm -hmm. maybe some people can uh, different, yeah. can uh, the uh, thoughts will come to our mind. So you not you need to flash. They constantly come because we all interact with the outside world. Nobody stay in his room twenty four hours. We have to do this. We have so different thoughts will come and. You know, sometimes there are thoughts that will come to your mind that you need to flash straight away. That will Which are influenced you know, by your surroundings, basically. Yeah, by your yeah. surroundings. And only skip. So sometimes I could even be in a particular place that where I need to really make sure that the word of it is the word of God I'm focusing on because I don't have a choice. At that particular point, some other things around can be. Want to take precedence. Want to take precedence, exactly. Yeah. And then, so I have to make sure that I focus on the word of God. So it's not only when you sleep physically yeah. that the but enemy will come and so it's, it's like a metaphorical uh, saying that, like you just mentioned, about mm. you being asleep mm. whilst you might have your eyes open. Mm. But uh, you're not conscious or conscious of your the things that are happening around you, and to take charge of matters that are uh, even the thoughts that come through your mind that yeah, people exactly. yeah. you know, people don't even see. Yeah, exactly. That people don't even see. So. And then you see that um, it's when you open your inner mind. To the wrong atmosphere. So, of course, Satan will come and say this. Amen. Because you're giving him the access, access to do that. Yeah. Like, uh, so be careful when you ask for access. It could be you're actually letting in. Satan through the back door. You might think you're doing one thing, but yeah. Like I was watching, saw the YouTube we were watching yesterday. The woman was saying uh, she was in a place, and the Lord was opening her eyes. Oh, uh, she went to a disco. Yeah, she um, went to a disco. And um, through the speaker, she was seeing spirits coming out. This place, because mm -hmm. of the, the, yeah, because of the songs. Oh, yeah, because, yeah, um, yes. actually, you said that. Yeah, okay, <laughs> but carry on. I have something to add to it, but yeah. So the song, there were, there were, there were evil spirits coming out mm -hmm. of that speaker. Uh, so, um, this is like a YouTube video you were watching. Yeah, yeah I was okay. just going looking for a film to watch. That was a Christian because we only watch Christian films. And I just saw something gates. You know, gates is also like a portal. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So something gates and he said gates and he put in, in brackets eyes and ears. So when I saw gates, you know, there are some types that time. attract me. It's not everything that minister preached. Mm -hmm. There are some key things that I really want. Key words or phrases. Yeah. Yeah. So when I so I played it, when she was, she was saying, he said, yeah, because that Lord was talking to her about gates. Um, she was passing through a place or something like that. No, she went to the, at the time she was, she, she did not understand the importance of the, like no, the atmosphere where you stay so she was going to a disco she used mm -hmm. to go to the disco because she was not really into the word the lord she kind of yeah kind of knew he knew, knew yeah. about 
but, but not so from that time she understood yeah. the importance of when they are seeing your atmosphere where you go because those places they make you to do that's why there are a lot of things happening there it, it releases that's that why there's drugs there's yeah yeah it releases and the, yeah it releases so many things in mm -hmm. that environment and she said through the speakers she could see spirits coming out you know mm -hmm. spirits coming out as the same sort of thing wow. talking yeah. about that you know um also when you listen to songs i mean it could yeah. be some famous singers beyonce jay-z or you know Chris Rock, or not Chris Rock, but you know, some of those type of people. But um, the words to those songs is something you need to be discerning about because the, the, the tune might sound good and it's very catchy, but it's the, the words that lure you. It's like you, you were just talking about uh, being asleep. And uh, you're listening to the music, this music thinking, wow, this song is great, I'm enjoying it, I'm having fun. But actually, when you uh, dissect what she's actually saying, or he's actually saying in those songs, the messages and some of the words that actually contain those songs are actually not of God. Yeah, but that's why it's, ad it's advisable <laughs> as much as you can to not yeah to be honest well, if we, if you want to to avoid you the the, the best temptation. yes yeah. the best thing is not to. yeah you but, know, okay. yeah but we were to, we are talking about like you know people mm, not everybody yeah up to in, now even some even people some don't even people. agree with that with that that's right even i mean some people that you know might be watching right now yeah some people they, still don't agree it's, i i'm not certain it's like a matter of agreeing but it's of being discerning yeah I would think when you encounter it then you correct. understand that's right you see it is people um listening to music that they have for a long time listened because to them it's like hang on but it's just a song yeah what's a big deal? it is the, what's a big deal exactly what is a big deal but when you actually dissect the song and listen to the actual lyrics of what it is trying to say a lot of times you will be like shocked wow yeah, you need to have a discerning spirit yeah, if you correct. don't yeah i, I remember um, or develop a discerning spirit yeah i remember you. a particular um person that i was um uh, uh so yeah. i i one day i just uh, told that person that don't you think because it will just be you put it and then you'll be like <laughs> yeah yeah that's right yeah and that was i used to say but don't you think it is um uh, and he said no 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 that keeps me going I said, okay. and he said, but, <laughs> wow he said he said that keeps me going he was very upset he said, that keeps me going so i left it that's why i'm saying that some people believe that uh, you know, at the time i had not gotten that understanding properly yeah like the way I have you even now. have now. Yes. You know, um, Satan took advantage of. Uh, is it Psalm one thirty nine? Say. Um, Faithfully and wonderfully made. One hundred and thirty nine. Yes. Um, we have been fearfully and wonderfully made. Yes. Yeah. Satan took advantage of how God created us. Mm -hmm. He doesn't create anything. Mm -hmm. so Satan does not create anything. That's right. Anything. Yeah. Because he knows they are poor pals. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, but well, remember, was it in the book of Genesis when the sons of God were, were sleeping with daughters of men? Yeah. yeah. And the sons of God, they were calling angels. In those times, they used to give back to giants. According right. to God, God didn't create giants. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but He knew how body system works. I mean, get to mating, hybrid. Yeah, 
they know how they know how God, body system works. Mm -hmm. They cannot make anything, but you know that if a man sleeps with a woman, he will give back to a child. So, you know, when we're talking about, uh, I know my shepherd. I mean, I know my people. Sheep, yeah, my sheep. Sheep, sheep you know, so, they, hear, they listen to my voice. Yes. So it means that there are other sheep somewhere mm -hmm. that will not listen to God. That are not the elect. Are you getting me? Mm -hmm. But Satan we use, you know, our body works to produce his own people. He's taking advantage of a natural biological function. Yes. And our spiritual his, function as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. To suit his the own uh, yeah, agenda. Yes. To further his agenda. Yes. So, and, you know, he, he wants to make sure that he, everything that God has made, beautifully and good, he wants to make sure that all of them go in the wrong 